This is definitely the most interesting leak I've seen this whole week and it has made a lot of headlines. WCCF Tech among other news outlets have been sharing the story. It is sourced from a well-known user who apparently been very accurate with leaks in the past. Indy is apparently planning to introduce two cards, two flagship cards based on RDNA 3 in December and apparently they will perform worse than Nvidia's RTX 40 series GPUs in both rasterization and ray tracing. Now, a couple of days ago Indy made a tweet where they declared that they will be introducing its RDNA 3 GPUs aka Radeon RX 7000 on November 3rd. According to the leaker, AMD has two GPUs they plan to show. According to WCCF Tech, it is still unclear whether that means that we get to see both Navi 31 and Navi 32. Now, in case guys you are a bit out of the loop, don't worry, I will make sure to get you up to speed by the end of the video. And I will be covering everything you need to know about in these upcoming GPUs, such as pricing, specifications, performance, and release date. But let's start with specifications. Now before we jump into all the UC details, let's quickly first take a look at this image from Igor's lab, who actually managed to get a hold of the schematic for the upcoming RX 7900 XT, revealing a couple of interesting details. The layout we see here confirms that the RX 7900 XT features in this Navi 31 GPU with 7 chiplets. The card is powered by three 8-pin power connectors, which means that we're looking at a maximum power of 450 watts of power. Igor has also confirmed that the RX 7900 XT will feature a total of 24 GB of G6 memory, which are located in groups around the GPU as we can see. Now 24 gigs of VRAM uh, indicates to me that the 7900 XT is targeting the 4090, who carries the same amount of VRAM. As a bonus, it is also revealed that the card has a total of 4 display connectors, working at 3 uh, display ports, as well as 1 HDMI. But let's fire up this image from video cards where we get a better idea what AMD has in store for us. Now, as we saw with previous generation, AMD is planning a total of three different RDNA 3 GPUs. And these three GPUs, guys, will be spread across the RX 7000 lineup with different names based on core count and performance. And first up, we have the biggest one, also known as Big Navi if you'd like. And this is called Navi 31. It will be based on a MCM or multi-chip module and it will house a total of 12k steam processors as well as 96 megabytes of infinity cache. Now infinity cache in case you don't know essentially allows AMD to add more bandwidth to the GPU which offers a more efficient method of power by removing memory bottlenecks and offers a quicker route to the GPU basically. Next up we have Navi32 which will feature a slightly smaller die size and chiplet and this one might be the GPU we find inside upcoming RX 7800 XT. Now, According to Greymon55 who is another accurate leaker, he explains that AMD might split Radeon 7000 into two groups where Navi31 and 32 and 33 aka RX 7600 XT may be based on RDNA 3 while the rest of the lineup, the cheaper cards, will simply be a refresh on current RDNA 2 GPUs. We have also seen a pretty large dump of specifications and details coming from Paul at Red Gaming Tech. He has said that the cards will be split into top end Navi 31, the mid range Navi 32, and Navi 33 will be the low end. Now, according to the latest leak, AMD might have a difficult time competing with these GPUs against Nvidia's RTX 4090, who turned out to be quite a lot faster than what people anticipated. Now, taking a look at hardware unboxed review of the 4090, now, in some titles we see that there is a 50 to 100% improvement compared to previous gen cards. And the 4090 is a hell lot faster in ray tracing as well and shows a massive performance uplift with DLSS3 which may or may not be something worth activating actually due to artifacts and latency. But, but yeah, regardless, AMD doesn't seem too confident about their upcoming flagship GPUs and thus may not be 100% confident how to price them just yet. And when it comes to pricing, to be honest, 
I don't think AMD has decided what to exactly price their upcoming GPUs. And if you didn't know, pricing is typically the one thing that gets sorted out last, sometimes just hours before a presentation. Now still, I think it's interesting hearing what other accurate leakers suggest and 3D Center think that AMD might price the RX 7900 XT between $1000 and $1500 while the 7800 XT will be priced between $600 and $1000. There's also been some rumors around stock and availability at launch, and according to a recent report by Hardware Times, it looks like AMD is pulling all the strings to ensure people can buy their GPUs. Let's talk performance. Reliable leaker Greymon55 has noted that the Navi31 GPU, aka the 7900 XT, might see a clock speed of 3 GHz and a total of 1 teraflop of performance, which uh, yeah, in theory would make it more powerful than the RTX 4090, who sits around 78 teraflops. However, WCC Tech actually managed to uh, put the RTX 4090 at 1 teraflop, so yeah, interesting to see how this turns out. Regardless, we know these GPUs will be powerful and yeah, AMD has actually officially confirmed that we are gonna see a huge performance uplift from the RDNA 3 based GPUs. The senior vice president of engineering, David Wang, noted that the RDNA 3 GPUs will have over 50% more power per watt over current RDNA 2 GPUs. Another interesting detail is the fact that AMD has also allegedly patched a GitHub repository that allows them to add a matrix-based instruction set for RDNA 3, which could let the card perform an AI-based image reconstruction in a similar vein to NVIDIA's DLSS. And this can be huge, guys, so let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the Radeon RX 7000. Post your thoughts in the comments down below.